All right, as I said, I would discuss the peanut butter and jelly algorithm thing a little bit more and give you a little bit of a demo um, after class. So here's the little demo with the peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna go through one of the algorithms, the one that's posted in the presentation. So let's follow exactly what it says. Remove two pieces of sliced bread from a bag of bread and place the two pieces on a plate with the largest faces down. So you gotta get a plate. Okay, so we have a plate, two pieces of bread, take the lids off both peanut butter and jelly. All right, jelly, peanut butter. <laughs> Make sure they smell great. And they didn't say anything about this, but I'll take it off anyway. Smells delicious. Also smells delicious. All right, spread peanut butter on one side of one piece of bread. And I'm okay. getting the peanut butter, spreading it on one side of the bread. And I think we don't know, we're just spreading it. Wipe excess peanut butter on the jar. All right. And put jelly on the bread. It's not working too well. Not really sure. Putting jelly on the bread. Think that's good. Combine slices of bread with peanut butter and jelly touching. All right, so I got my peanut butter, I got my jelly. Make sure they touch. Definitely touching. And then it says, Congratulations, I've, cre I've created this peanut butter and jelly. And it's time to eat it. Mmm, so good. Best ever. <laughs> okay, so my point is here is that now with computer programming, we're gonna be working with computers. They do not have intuition like people do. Um, you might be able to give a person direction like put jelly on bread and they might know better than what I just did, um, but the computer won't. So sometimes it might get a little frustrating when you're writing code and you try to code in for, you want to do some type of calculation, you wanna do some type of if this, then that scenario, you want something to happen when you're writing your code, but it's not doing at all what you think it should. So when you're in different languages, you're gonna have different syntax. So if you've coded before, the syntax is gonna change. If you haven't coded before, um, again, you will be facing some of these ideas for the first time of the computer program does not intuitively know what you want it to do. You have to write in exactly the syntax it needs. And it needs to be specific. It needs to be step-by-step -step in order. Um, a lot of you did get your process in place where you actually went from one thing to another. Um, I started with bread, jelly, peanut butter. Some of you even brought in like, go to the store, get peanut butter, get jelly, get all this stuff. Um, when you're writing code, you're gonna have to think about what is that starting point? Like, where am I starting? Uh, which is what we're doing with that seven step problem solving process when we think about the inputs that we're starting with from the user or what we're defining. And then as we did in class, we'll go through that whole process together. Um, hopefully when you're writing code, it won't be this much of a mess but sometimes it will be. So please just don't get frustrated. It's okay. Messes happen in coding. You're gonna break the code. Stuff's gonna happen. You're gonna get errors. And you just have to learn how to say, okay, how do I adjust now? Based on what I've seen happen, what would I change? So rethinking about the solution you submitted based on seeing how I made this peanut butter and jelly based off those directions, what other directions would you give? Um, maybe you wanted to say use a knife to spread the peanut butter and the jelly so I wouldn't be standing here with peanut butter and jelly all over my hands. Um, something else. Um, again, this is just getting you to start thinking about that process. So hopefully you're thinking about it now and um, hopefully you have a great semester. And if you ever have questions, please remember again, email me office hours. I'm available to help.